how are you guys I hope you are doing well my name is Peter and this is another video in this one we're gonna examine the rear wing um, it's gonna be like flow simulation just like in the previous video for the front wing and here I expect just slightly more downforce and that's pretty much it we can start so Adins flow simulation okay wizard next S E S I next external exclude exclude again the axis for this one is gonna be Z next Guesses it's gonna be air next next and minus hundred meters per second so that's around 360 kilometers per hour in previous video I might I probably said 300 but it's 360 and finish let's also set computational domain like I said also in previous video a computational domain is the box it's the area where we let the air flow around the wing and we get results from that air so minus 0 0.35 here we can have 2.5 or, or slightly more 2.75 mm, on the sides 220 2.2 actually so 2 and here we have minus 2 looking what the fuck no, is this I'm not sure what I pressed but I think everything is fine no minus zero five from the side now it seems that I have moved these axes I don't know how I did this let's just start all over again I don't wanna mess up something so minus 0 0.75 2 minus 2 and 2.75 from the sides minus 0 0.5 and around 5 no this was minus 5 sorry so minus 5 click OK and the last thing is to find this tab and go to insert global goals we need X X Y and Z click OK and that's pretty much it we can now start run I'm gonna use three cores and let's go and solving is done as you can see we have such a small side force of 2 newtons and we have 2200 on y axis that's the down force so it's slightly smaller comparing to the front wing on the same speed and uh, this should be around 220 kilograms and when it comes to drag is it's also slightly lower than the front wing it's eight it's 80 80 kilograms and what I can say that I think front wing with the nose is slightly 
bet is having better aerodynamics and it's more efficient because for 300 kilograms of downforce we had 100 kilograms of drag and here we have only 2000 and only 220 kilograms of downforce with 800 um, kilograms of drag let's see how the airflow is looking and I'm gonna hide this I'm gonna here put 100 I want as many as possible and let's select some faces That's pretty much it. I'm gonna select 0.02 and I'm gonna use spheres. So this is how it's looking like. It's not that bad actually. I might use just slightly smaller sphere so it's gonna be 0 0.015 okay that's better now we can see it we can see that this <laughs> wing may not be perfectly uh, modeled because the air is going here in is getting in this um looking uh, let's call it flap and it should go below this drs wing and get out somewhere around here but i'm not sure it's doing so so let's see the how the animation is looking like Overall, uh, looking at the back, it's not that bad actually, but it could have been done better to be honest. Maybe this curve should have, should have been just slightly smaller. Let's uh, view from all angles. So that's from the side, it looks almost perfect, it's not really that good. Looking from the front, we can see, lo looking from the front it's, it's actually quite decent. Looking from the top, and looking from the top it's also uh, not that bad. So like I said, only this area could be improved so that this air that is going in it can like get out from the bottom surface of DRS and go up which should increase downforce and not kill the drag. We can see here that air is, air is going through this which is quite weird and I also think that these side slots are not uh, really doing a lot of work for this wing let's also check something else stop I'm gonna hide this let's also check the surface plot it's just looking at these surfaces to see where do we have uh, highest and where we have lowest pressure so this is how it goes this uh, 
let's call it how it's I forgot the name for this it's like double decker or something like that it's actually not doing a lot of work but maybe uh, once we do the car maybe it should uh, do more job looking from the bottom you can see that this bottom surface is actually quite good it's it's pushing the air up or maybe not I'm not really sure but looking from the from this side it, it doesn't look that well like I said this area is not done perfectly also the DRS flap may be too big maybe not overall side forces are not big so we did a good job with these uh, side plates or end plates however they are called of or co of course this these uh, slots could have been done better and that's pretty much it that was everything for this video and I'm not gonna promise but I hope I'm gonna soon start finishing the this Formula 1 project this Williams car may actually be uh, produced soon so see ya in some other video